welcome to Kids Academy. When we want to round a number to the nearest 10 or 100, we have to look at the place to the right to help you to decide whether to round up or down. I like to underline the place I'm rounding to and draw an arrow to the place that will tell me whether to round up or down. You always look one place to the right of the place that you want to round to. Even though both of these numbers have 37 in them, you'll see that we're gonna round them differently because we are rounding 137 to the nearest 100 and 37 to the nearest 10. The same rule still applies for rounding to the hundreds place as it does for rounding to the tens. Five is the key number. If it's five or higher, you round up, but if it's four or lower, you have to round down. For 137, since we're rounding to the hundreds, we'll have to look at the number in the tens place. The three in the tens place tells us to round down. We'll round 137 down to 100. You round the number in the hundreds place and make the numbers in the ones and tens places zeros. But for 37, since we're only rounding to the tens, we'll have to look at the number in the ones place. Since that number is a seven, we're gonna round up because seven is greater than five. We'll round 37 up to 40. You round the number in the tens place and make the number in the ones place a zero. Let's take a look at a real life situation that requires rounding and see how our rounding to the nearest 10 and 100 skills can come in handy. These kids want to see how many fruits and vegetables their class has eaten this week. Let's help the kids figure this out quicker by rounding. First, we'll round the fruits eaten this week. According to the data, 443 pieces of fruit were eaten this week. Now, let's round this number to the nearest hundred. We'll use the strategy of underlining the hundreds place and drawing an arrow to the tens place so we know what numbers we have to look at. I see a four in the tens place. I know if it's four or lower, we have to round down. The four in the hundreds place is underlined, so we have to round the four in the hundreds place to 400. When rounding to the hundreds place, the number in the tens and ones place becomes zeros. Now I know about 400 pieces of fruit were eaten this week. Next, we'll round the vegetables eaten this week. According to the data, 29 vegetables were eaten this week by kids. Man, these kids need to eat more veggies. Now, let's round this number to the nearest 10. We'll use the strategy of underlining the tens place and drawing an arrow to the ones place so we know what numbers we have to look at. I see a nine in the ones place. I know if it's five or higher, we have to round up. The two in the tens place is underlined, so we have to round the two in the tens to three tens. When rounding to the tens place, the number in the ones place becomes a zero. Now I know the kids only ate about 30 vegetables this week. I'll leave you with a challenge. I want you to help the kids around the next two types of food one kid eats a day to the nearest 100 and 10. I'll give you some time to think, but if you need more time, you can pause the video and answer when you're ready. Okay, here's the answer. We had to round the amount of protein one kid eats a day to the nearest hundred and round the amount of grains one kid eats a day to the nearest 10. The amount of protein one kid eats a day is 154 grams. I see a five in the tens place. I know if it's five or higher, we have to round up. The one in the hundreds place is underlined, so we have to round up the 100 to 200. So each kid eats about 200 grams of protein a day. The amount of grains one kid from the class eats a day 
is 81 grams. I see a 1 in the 1's place. I know if it's 4 or lower, we have to round down. The 8 in the 10's place is underlined, so we have to round the 8 10's down to 80. So each kid eats about 80 grams of grains a day. Remember to look at the place to the right of the place you want to round to. And if you see a 5 or higher, round up. And if you see a 4 or lower, round down. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.